In the early 1600s, Hoppy would be sitting on the edge of the creek with a rope made of marsh weeds and a spear made of wooden stone. He would silently stalk the huge bass that usually swam in the river. Right before Hoppy could throw his spear, he was interrupted by some bright skin who wore pointed shoes, pants, and shirts. Hoppy had never seen these type of people before. The guy seemed harmless, so Hoppy tried to communicate, but he just could not understand the new people. Before you knew it, Hoppy was attacked, kidnapped, and placed on a boat with several other Indians from the Sawi tribe. The Goose Creek men were a group of Europeans who settled in Barbados for a few years. Then they came to Goose Creek, South Carolina. These white men were slaves or sons of small planters, craftsmen, and sons of large planters. Some went back to England, but some came back to America. By 1665, they first settled in Cape Fair River. Then by 1670, at Goose Creek, these veteran farmers had brought slaves, the parish system, and the Anglican Church. As the Goose Creek men began to come up in advance, the British colony would ask the Goose Creek men to join the colonies, which they did. So for the next 30 years, the British colony would have their nose in the Goose Creek men business, and now they saw the British as enemies. Because after all, they left Barbados to get money through the illegal Indian slave trade and they did not want anyone in their business, not even the government, so they rebelled. The British would remove the Goose Creek men from appointed government positions, but the politically cunning Goose Creek men were able to gain de facto control of the colony in the 1690s through the Common House of Assembly in which they held a majority. Even though the Goose Creek men won the political war, they still had problems of currency, political representation, and taxation continued to trouble the people of Goose Creek. The British, acting like they were going to help the Goose Creek men, made the Goose Creek men want independence even more. Only a half century later, the Goose Creek men's sons and daughters would go head up in the Revolutionary War.